Welcome to Making Sense with Steve. Today we're going to discuss the phenomenon that's been labeled failure to launch. And what this is, is our young men who are not going out into the world, they're staying at home in mom's basement, and basically spending their days playing video games and somebody else supporting them. This is going to create a very large problem in the future. This is a direct result of feminism and what it has done as far as how females behave along with what we as a society are doing to our young males. Now, when our young males get into the school system, they're told that there's something wrong with them, basically just because they're male. They're diagnosed as autistic or ADHD, and then they're put on mind-altering drugs. We have no idea what the long-term effects of these drugs are, but we need to force our males to be more like girls. That's, that's the problem. Now on the female side of it, the feminists have taught them that females need males like a fish need a bicycle. And you can just run around and spread your legs and sleep with whoever you want, whenever you want. And after you've done that for a decade or so, then you can settle down and find a good man and, and everything will be perfect. Well, as I'm sure many of you are aware, it's not quite working out that way for the women. What they're finding out is once they hit the wall, which is approximately 30 to 35 years old, um, good men don't want them because of the way that they have chosen to live their lives. Of course, this is men's fault because women never take responsibility for anything that they do. But anyway, let's get back to failure to launch. Another part of the problem that we have in this area is, once again, back into the school system, is we are no longer putting our children out of high school with basic skills required for a job. So there's nothing there. I, I, the only reason that I see that we're sending them to uh, the lower level schools is just to be indoctrinated. They're, they're really learning practically nothing right now. So you've got young men coming out of high school. They have no skills whatsoever to get into the workforce other than you know, minimum wage jobs. They can't get into college because the feminists have got the deck stacked against them. 66% plus of college students are female. It's extremely difficult to get into college if you're a male. So that's pretty much come off the table. None of the girls their age, I won't say none, the general public of females is not interested in getting married and having a family, a traditional family. So there's really no incentive for them to get off the couch and go out into the world and build their own life. When I was growing up, 18, you couldn't wait to turn 18. That was when you finally got to move out of mom and dad's 
and start your own life. It's not that way now. Now where this becomes a real problem is 20 years from now. You see, you feminists, you haven't really thought this through very far. Men, the men that are doing the jobs that you don't even realize are being done are going to retire, are going to die, and these are jobs that require a certain level of skill. Uh, the gentlemen that repair the power lines and the power grid. So all you feminists, you're not just going to be able to grab Johnny and say, okay, now you're going to repair the power lines and Johnny's going to get killed the first day on the job because nobody trained Johnny how to do this. So when your electricity goes out, you're going to slowly be running out of people to repair the system. When the water system has a problem, you're going to be running out of people to repair this. So you're going to lose your water in your homes. Same thing with sewers. Same thing with roads. All the basic infrastructure will be collapsing. And it will be collapsing for two reasons. One of them is that we are not having children at a rate that at minimum replaces the number of people. But then you couple that with failure to launch. So by the time these males finally are forced out of their parents' home, there was a story about uh, parents, their son was 36 years old, they had to legally evict him from the home. You're going to lose everything that you've got. And I, if I am still alive then, I'll experience it. But I'll be really, if I am alive, I'll be close to death anyway. So climate change is not your problem. Your problem is, is you have attacked males to such a degree that now you are going to lose the lifestyle that you are accustomed to. These things do not automatically happen. They're not just there. Men built them and men maintain them. What are you going to do when your internet goes down and there's nobody to fix it? What you always do, you'll sit and complain. There's never a solution to the problem from the feminist. It's only complaints. Well, here's one that you can work on fixing before it really turns into a huge problem for all of society. I think that just about covers it. Y'all have a great day. I'm out of here.